Hello everyone, my name is Taklahana. It's my absolute pleasure to be presenting this journal by the title of Microfluidics and Catalyst Particles. Catalyst is a substance that increases the rate of a chemical reaction without undergoing any permanent chemical change. In other words, catalysts speed up the reaction without changing its chemical structure. Catalysts are used in so many different applications, such as fuel cells and exhaust gas catalytic conversion. There are over 80% of, chemi of chemicals that require solid catalysts during production. Moreover, we as humans contain lots of different types of catalysts that help in the bioprocess in our body, that is called enzymes. Solid ca catalyst activity relies on its size, shape, and accessibility to the active site. Therefore, more monodispersed and uniform catalyst materials can tremendously increase their efficiency. If you look at the, uh, the image on the right-hand side, you can see the two circles, those are reactants. The, the, the green uh, circle shape uh, is the catalyst. You can see that the empty two circles at the top of the green of the green circle or the, the catalyst, it, these are called the active sites. Where the reactants comes in, then the catalyst will make them bond. This is not the only um, function of the catalyst, but also it can reverse the reaction as well. Artificial catalysts are made up of nanoparticles that we manufacture. So we can customize the shape, size, and active side of the catalyst so it fit any purpose we want. The goal of the article is to explore a new method to manufacture catalysts with higher shape, size, specificity to, enhan to enhance the catalyst performance. Microfluidic techniques were used in just defining the catalyst type and function. In this paper, we use a microfluidic system in manufacturing the nanoparticles. There are so many types of nanoparticles, so I will just talk about the metal nanoparticle. The first step, they use metal containing salt solution and reducing agent. Second, they, 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 they use ligands or surf, surfactants, they call them capping agents, to shave the nanoparticles to whatever shape they need to serve whatever function they want. Microfluidic system is used to control the time and the contact between reagents. The importance of this work relies in the third step of the manufacture procedure. The third step in the manufacture process is the most important and tricky one. They use to time the process using regular methods such as stopwatches, but the time is different from one nanoparticle to another and from one catalyst shape to another which makes it very hard to calculate and hard to get to get it 100% precise, which obviously affects the shape, size, and active side accessibility, and therefore the function of the catalyst. Microfluidic system uses a feedback from the reaction. As time passes by, it keeps examining the nanoparticle till they reach to its target shape and size. Then the system starts automatically exiting the catalyst into containers. This system had eliminated the human error factor in timing, saying that the microfluidic system had enhanced the shape, size, and the accessibility of the active site in the catalyst, which increased the efficiency and performance of the catalyst. As everything, there are some pros and cons switching to the microfluidic system. There are few weak points. There is a low output volume Microfluidic has a limitation when it comes to examining large quantity. In order to ensure the quality of the product, it needs less volume than it previously than the previous method where they used to use big patches at a time. On the other hand, the microfluidic system offers a high control, which means higher product quality and higher performance. In addition, it gives the ability to manufacture and develop more complex catalysts. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the presentation as much as I have enjoyed the paper. Thank you.